Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Rugged Ridge Elite Headlight Euro Guards fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers. So this is going to be for the JL owner who's looking for small but noticeable mods to add to the front end of their Jeep. Now these are going to be very durable, made of a cast aluminum construction, and those are going to provide some of that protection that you may want for your headlights if you're out on the trail and you encounter any brush or branches, or even if you're just on the street and you experience any kick up. Now these are also going to add a very off-road and rugged aesthetic to your Wrangler because of the matte black powder coat and also just the overall armored look that this is going to provide to your Wrangler. Not only are these going to up the look and the function on your Wrangler, but these are also going to be very affordable as well. So these are going to be roughly $50 and I think for a pair of these and the overall construction and the quality of these that that price is definitely worth it. Now what I really like about these in comparison to some other options that I've seen for the previous JK model, these do not attach with any 3M tape. These are directly bolted behind the grill, so it adds some structural integrity to it. These are very different and add a unique look to the front end of your Wrangler. So the other thing that I do really like about these Euroguards is the fact that they go along with the headlight design and the internal of the headlight, and they're not going to obstruct your visibility while you're out on the street or even on the trail. Now they do go along with the LED package in the internal of the headlight, but they are also going to look great on the halogen as well. And I think that this is really going to add a unique and a functional look to the front end of your Jeep. Now install is gonna be very easy. Out of one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, you're gonna need minimal basic hand tools to get the job done in probably 10 minutes worth of your time. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a three inch extension, a 10 millimeter deep socket, a 532nd inch Allen key, and a flathead screwdriver. So our first step to installing our light guards is to pop off our grill. So first things first, we have to open up our hood. And after our hood's open, we can pop off these six pop clips that'll remove our grill. I'm using a flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to pop each of these clips out. You could also use a trim removal tool, but since there is a little indent on each of these clips, I find it easier to use a flathead screwdriver. So after those six pop clips are out, what we have to do is raise the front end of our grill just to get out the little pins that are sitting in the top. And then we can give our grill a little bit of a tug to pop out the retainer clips at the bottom that's holding on the bottom of our grill. After that's off, we can just move it to the side and that'll expose our headlight bolts. So what we have to do next is remove the three bolts that are holding in our headlight. Now we're not taking out our actual headlight, we're just taking out the bolts so we can sandwich our uh, guard in between the headlight and the new bolts. So I'm using a 10 millimeter socket and a small extension just to make sure I'm clearing the grill in the headlight. We can remove those bolts. So the headlight might move out of place, that's okay. What we can do next is grab our guard, making sure it's for the right side. We can also grab our provided hardware, which are the button head bolts or the Allen head bolts. And I'm gonna use a 532nd inch Allen key or Allen socket and a three inch extension to thread the new bolts in. So these new bolts that are provided are a little bit longer just to accommodate for the extra space that our guard is taking up. So once that's threaded in, we can move on to the next one. And down to the bottom one. And then we can tighten them back up with the impact wrench. 
or you could use a hand ratchet. So just make sure you don't over tighten these because the headlight attachments are plastic and you don't want to break those. But that's one side and then we can just do the same thing on the other side. All right, so our last step is to pop our grill back on and close up our hood. So just give the grill a little push, set the clips, and then we can take our pop clips that we took out originally and pop them back into place. And last but not least, we'll close up our hood. So that's gonna wrap it up for my quick review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.